Now that the sketch of the page is done, let's create the frames for it. But first, I create a new layer folder and move all layers that contain speech bubbles and text into it. Next, I am going to draw a large frame. To do that, I select the Layer menu, New Layer and Frame Border folder. Adjust the thickness of the borders and click OK. In this way, a basic frame was created and the Frame Border folder can be found in the Layer palette. I will drag the Frame Border folder in the Layer palette underneath the Speech Bubble layer. Next, I'll divide the frames. This can be done by selecting Frame Border in the Tool palette. Cut Frame Border and then Divide Frame Border. In the Tool Property palette, you can adjust the interval at which the borders are divided. In this case, I am using the value 50 for horizontal space and 100 for vertical space. I'll cut the frames, as intended in the layout sketch. It's easier to divide a frame perfectly horizontally or vertically by holding Shift key on keyboard when dragging the pan. Let's adjust this panel next. Frames can be shaped by using the Object tool. First, let's adjust the thickness of the frame lines by changing the brush size settings in the Tool Property palette. You can click the square next to brush size and check the random checkbox to make a border that resembles a hand-drawn line. Next, click and drag the green squares to adjust the height and width of a frame. Here, it's important to turn off Work with another frame border in the Tool Property palette to fine-tune the shape. If there are unnecessary frames, simply select them and use the Edit menu and choose Clear. By clicking on the yellow triangles near the frames, you can extend them all the way to the edge of the paper at once. By the way, the purple part represents the masked area of the layer folder. If it's in your way, right-click on the layer mask in the layer palette and uncheck Enable Mask. And that's how to draw frames.